Ginger Production Guide by Business Diary Ph. Ginger, Zingiber officinale Roscoe, is popular toward its distinct sharp and hot flavor due to an oily substance called Jing Aral. It is known as Liuya in Tagalog, Shoga, Japanese, Chang, Chinese, Gingibra, Spanish, Gingembre, French, and Sanjabal, Arabic. It has an aerial part of about 0.8 meter high, which could grow up to 1.5 meters tall, in Costa Rica, Hawaii, and Honduras, and a finger like perennial underground part or rhizomes called hands. The top producing countries are India, China, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Thailand. In 2006, the area planted to ginger in the Philippines was 3,916 hectares with a total production of 27,261 tons. Cagayan Valley was the largest producer, 5,566 tons, followed by Calabarzon, 4,969 tons, and northern Mindanao, 4,029 tons. Ginger is exported to Japan, Germany, Hong Kong, Britain, and Northern Ireland. Uses and Nutritional Value Ginger can be consumed fresh, dehydrated, powdered, or pickled. Salabat, or ginger tea, a popular hot drink, is made from boiled fresh ginger or powdered ginger. Ginger adds flavor to some common Filipino dishes like tinola, goto, arroz caldo, paxi, bachoy, and pinakbit. It is also used as an ingredient in the manufacture of perfumes and soft drinks and in the preparation of preserves, candies, and pickles. The Chinese consider ginger as the yang of hot or spicy food, which balances cold meals. It is also considered as ying for creating harmony. Ginger stimulates gastric juice secretion and relieves cough and flu. It is also used to treat migraine, travel sickness, and rheumatoid arthritis. It is known to improve blood circulation and reduce fat deposits in the arteries. In India, ginger is used in the preparation of many Ayurvedic formulations, Ayurveda being the traditional Indian medical discipline. The curative properties of ginger come from the volatile oil that contains Singiberino, Singiberol, Borneol, Phalandrino, Citral, Cineol, Starch, Mucilage, and Resin, among other substances. Per 100 grams edible portion, ginger contains energy, protein, fiber, ash, calcium, phosphorus, iron, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, and ascorbic acid. Varieties Ginger varieties differ in size and shape of rhizomes, yield, moisture content, quality, and flavor. The following are the more common varieties in the Philippines with their corresponding rhizome characteristics. First, native. Are small, fibrous, very pungent, best for making salabat. Second, red native. Are small, red, fibrous, very pungent. Third, imugan. Are medium sized, slightly fibrous, pungent. Fourth, Hawaiian. Are large, Plump, yellowish brown, less pungent. Fifth, Jamaica Oya. Are medium sized, pale colored, gives off pleasant, agreeable aroma in dehydrated form. Canton or Chinese large, yellowish, succulent, less fibrous, less pungent. Soil and climate requirements. Ginger can be grown in flat to slightly rolling areas with well-drained, light to medium textured soil high in organic matter and pH of 6.8 to 
it can grow in elevations of up to 1,500 meters above sea level with about 200 to 300 centimeters annual rainfall evenly distributed throughout the year and a temperature range of 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. It grows well even with 25 to 40 percent shading. Planting Materials about 800 to 1,500 kg seed pieces are required per hectare. Store ginger roots under shade and cover with banana or coconut leaves. Select healthy rhizomes with sprouts or eyes just before planting. Cut into pieces with 3 to 4 sprouts each. The seed pieces may also be pre-germinated for uniform growth. Prepare raised beds of any desired length measuring 1 meter wide and 20 centimeter high. Line sow the seed pieces 2 centimeter apart and cover with a mixture of compost and coir dust. Water as needed. Transplant when the sprouts are about 1 to 2 centimeter long. New varieties can also be propagated by micropropagation or tissue culture to increase the rate of multiplication. Clearing Clear the area of bushes or stubbles of previous crop to facilitate land preparation. These can be used in compost piles and should not be burned. Land Preparation Plow the field twice then harrow to pulverize the soil. Make furrows one meter apart. Incorporate fully decomposed chicken manure at 3 to 5 tons per hectare. Planting Planting is done at the start of the rainy season, usually April to May. In areas with abundant supply of water throughout the year, planting can be done anytime. Distribute pre-germinated seed pieces in furrows 30 cm apart and cover lightly with soil. In small-scale plantings, mulch with rice straw or coconut leaves. Ginger is usually intercropped with perennial crops such as coconut and coffee. Multiple cropping of ginger, 0.3 meter by 3 meters, papaya, 3 meters by 3 meters, pineapple, 0.3 meter by 0.75 meter, and tomato, 1.0 meter by 3.0 meters, is a common practice in Cavatai. Fertilization Ginger takes up large amounts of nutrients. The general fertilizer requirement is 180 kg per hectate N, 180 kg per hectate P05, and 255 kg per hectate KO. The considerably high K requirement makes ginger sensitive to low K supply. A hectare of ginger requires 11.5 bags 14-14-14 and 4 bags 0-0-60 in addition to 5 tons per hectare chicken or animal manure. Incorporate manure during furrow preparation and apply inorganic fertilizers as side dress at 30 and 60 days after planting. Irrigation Ginger requires light but frequent irrigation during the vegetative stage, if rainfall is not evenly distributed. Depending on soil type and seasonal rainfall, irrigation varies from 4 to 7 days. Weeding Ginger generally requires regular hand weeding during its growth period. Hand weed one month after planting. The frequency of subsequent weeding depends on weed density. Mulch with coconut leaves or rice straw to suppress weed growth. Pest and disease management. Cutworms, scale insects, and aphids are common ginger pests, but they do not cause significant yield losses. Leaf spot, rhizome rot, and bacterial wilt are some of the major diseases. Ginger is tolerant to leaf spot. Rhizome rot can be prevented by strict sanitation and use of trichoderma as part of organic fertilization. During storage, separate healthy rhizomes from shriveled and discolored ones. 
Bacterial wilt infection can be avoided by planting in bacterial wilt-free areas. Pull out infected plants and burn. Harvesting Harvest ginger when the leaves turn yellow and wither. This is about 8 to 10 months after planting, depending on the variety used. To harvest, dig each hill with a spading fork or a hoe, pull the entire plant, shake off the soil, lay on top of the bed, and cut off the stem without breaking the rhizomes. Care should be practiced during harvesting to minimize injury that results to faster weight loss and susceptibility to decay. Post-harvest handling Cleaning or washing Trim off the shoots and roots and clean the rhizomes immediately after harvest. Wash the rhizomes first to remove soil particles then wash again in water with sodium hypochlorite prepared at 1 drop of 30% sodium hypochlorite per 3.8 liters of water to disinfect the rhizome and heal the wound faster. Air dry the rhizomes after washing. Curing Cure the rhizomes first under 90% relative humidity and 25 degree to 30 degree Celsius for 9 days. If available, spray or dip the rhizomes in fruit wax to prevent shriveling. Grading Classify rhizomes according to size, weight, and appearance. Select healthy rhizomes and discard those that are infected with diseases. Storage after curing. Store only clean and healthy rhizomes. Keep the 10-month-old rhizomes under 7.2 degrees Celsius and the younger rhizomes at 13 degrees Celsius. Maintain relative humidity at 75% to minimize weight loss, sprouting, and rotting. In areas where cold storage is not available, farmers keep their harvest in 2 meter deep pits of up to 2 tons capacity. These pits, covered with banana or coconut leaves, are located under the shade in backyards. Through this practice, ginger rhizomes can be kept for a year. Marketing Ginger is generally sold in the local market by the king, kin, sack, kilo, pile, or tompok, or by piece. In the export market, ginger is sold in fresh, preserved, or dried forms. Dried ginger comprises more than 50% of the ginger sold in the foreign market. It is classified as peeled, unpeeled, whole, or split. Source, dti.gov.ph Salamat po sa panonood. I-like ang video para mapanood ng mas maraming Pilipino. Subscribe sa aking channel at pindutin ang kampana para makatanggap ng abiso pag may bago akong video. Salamat!